it's great to be back at CW. I mean, I don't necessarily love the weather, but you know, it's great to see uh, old friends. Uh, great to see CW keep growing. I remember the Porta cabins. Now I see a great new wing in the building. Also, really, I'm impressed with the growth of the science park. CW is a great place. I really enjoy my my time here. I've been here for six years, I think, if I count my masters and PhD. I'm very grateful for for everything we've accomplished here and great to be back. The work Marcin developed here at CWI has served as the bedrock for how people build data processing applications. So whether you want to analyze medical data, uh, financial data, uh, anything related to you know, tele uh, telecommunications, all of them are going to be based on using ideas that, that Marcin developed. And what has been really fascinating about his work is that it's based on first principles that have stood the test of time that no matter how the, the hardware has evolved, the way Marcin developed how you move data within a computer has just proven to be the, the, the good choice. And pretty much every system that people have developed in the last 15 years since he did the work here at CWI. First of all, I made some really good friends here, like especially Roberto was my roommate. I was fortunate to have a really great friend at CWI. And Peter, Peter, you know, my supervisor, um, who became a friend over the years. There was a lot of fun, actually, but of course, a lot of hard work, a lot of very stimulating, you know, intellectual discussions, a lot of programming together, a lot of building systems, a lot of arguing, because, you know, we had a lot of uh, smart people in the group and we don't, didn't always agree what's the right thing. The database group at CWA is kind of special because their focus is not only research, but also building systems. And that leaves a lot of flexibility with what people do. Marcin really inspires me on, on two elements, actually. So the first is that I really, really admire his perseverance to make things work, like real um, technical innovations into real products and making a successful company out of that. And I think part of that is really getting to the bottom of things. His eye for detail is really, I think, crucial in that. And then second um, is his personality. So I think he's a really approachable person and a really humble person as well. And over the course of the Dijkstra Fellowship Award, I learned that he's really good at building good teams. And I think that's a super inspiring trait to have as well. Marcin's work makes it easier and, and more efficient to process large data sets, right? And before, in the old days, you had these large data sets and you couldn't extrapolate any new knowledge to make decisions about how to run a company more efficiently, how to run government more, more efficiently. Now, if you have large data sets, you can use them to decide, oh, what's the best way to ship things over here? Or what's the best way to, to allocate resources in my organization? So it allows people to extract knowledge that's always been hidden in these, in these large data sets that no one's been able to actually get anything out of it. So it really changes how people look at data and how they use data in pretty much all facets of society. One thing I would advise every PhD student here is to try to find some internships in industry because I've had two and it really influenced the way I thought about building systems but also understanding what's necessary, what's needed in the, in the real world. In US, it's a very common thing to do. In Europe, it's less popular, but it's a really great experience. And I think every student, and especially PhD students, should do at least one in their program. One advice I would say is to argue with the more experienced researchers, but also listen to them. There is so much depth. I mean, our field, especially computer science, has been around for, you know, decades, like 60, 70 years. The new generations often forget things or don't really know that some things have been tried or tested. And there is a lot of depth and wisdom in, in all the research. Maybe that's something I would encourage everybody to at least look into. Because we focus on the brand new thing, things over and over, but we don't realize how much we can learn from the old things.